According to pop psychology, if you train with anger, if you lift weights with anger, if you train martial arts with anger, you will lift more, you will punch more harder, you will train better and you will feel more relaxed in the end. You will vent everything out, right? Wrong. This is the worst thing that you, that you can do to your mind and your body. This is, you are destroying it. If you train anger on daily basis at a specific given time, your brain will interpret it as it is important for your survival and make itself better at it. Your brain will create more neural connections, will form LTP at the amygdala level. So this is your brain. This is the amygdala, this is the prefrontal cortex. Your amygdala is the drama queen, the stud boy of your brain. Basically always looking, oh, is this person is trying to insult me? Is this trying to emotionally hurt me? Is this person trying to make a joke or fun of me? Is the basically the insecure part of your brain, the fearful part of your brain who will always look for threats and will give a knee jerk, re jerk reaction, explode in anger. This is like basically fight, flight, freeze and the fourth F which is procreation <laughs> is that part of the brain. So if you train with anger on daily basis, what you're doing is you're making this drama queen, this amygdala stronger. It will have more dendritic arbors, more neural connections, will form long term potentiation and will be better at giving knee jerk reactions. So a little bit of pinprick from your relatives, from your uh, parents, your girlfriend or boyfriend, your office colleagues, your brain is going to make it a nuclear bomb. So if you practice anger on daily basis, you will make a nuclear bomb in your head and hence will destroy your relationships. This amygdala, the drama queen or the stud boy of your brain, the knee jerk reaction brain becomes stronger whenever there is there are glucocorticoids in your system that that is stress hormones such as testosterone, adrenaline, cortisol, these are all stressors, stress hormones. They foster the neural growth of amygdala. Amygdala will form better connections, have long-term potentiation, will be better, physically will be bigger. It takes 21 days of cycle. So, but if you do the opposite, if you try to control your anger, Whenever you feel angry, what will happen is your smart brain, the brain which is a geek brain, which is a strategy making brain, which is a problem solver brain, which takes time, takes a step back, takes time to solve problems smartly, is gonna grow, has long term potentiation, will make better, more neural connections, will be better at solving problems only if you practice holding it and not venting it out no matter it's your heartbreak you know some girl or boy broke your heart and you went to gym and start training no matter what it is if you try to contain it this part of the brain the geek the smart the mature the prefrontal cortex part of the brain will grow again search long-term potentiation google it when you do that these knee jerk responses these explosions don't happen and you actually maintain your relationships with your family with your partner at college school colleagues office colleagues whatever you maintain long-term relationships with them because you're not getting offended you're not destroying nuking your relationship because those pin pricks are pin pricks and even a nuclear bomb will not affect you nuclear bomb in terms of a joke or a basically where you are sensitive at emotionally emotional sensitivity emotional nuclear bomb